three years ago. This is Ed Bernard with Code 19 Racing here at CES 2025, looking at everything autonomous for cars. But if you're going to have an autonomous car, you got to know how to program it so it's going to be safe and can run efficiently. And there's some very interesting things happening with NVIDIA and AWS. I'm here with Dean Harris from NVIDIA. Hi, Dean, Thanks, nice Ed. to meet you. Can Thank you tell us what you're doing? What's new here that's brought AWS and NVIDIA together to make it easier to get that great autonomous car out there operating efficiently and safe? Uh -huh. yeah. So AWS is a great partner with NVIDIA, working very closely together to build autonomous vehicles. So what you're seeing here today is uh, just released yesterday is our Cosmos Video Foundation model tool platform. So it's a one world model uh, based on that fusion and auto regressive models that are available today on build.nvidia.com. Uh, as part of that, we have other tools for one doing for data curation called Nemo, Cur Nemo Curator, uh, Cosmo Tokenizer for taking your video and tokenizing it into the language of a Cosmos platform and then our Nemo framework for, uh, for training and fine tuning that data. So all of these different tools coming together, leverage with NVIDIA AI Enterprise uh, on AWS will help you accelerate your autonomous vehicle uh, pipeline. So what is new here that say you didn't have last year? Yeah. What, what are you excited about? Yeah, all of this is new. First time. All of it together is a package. Correct, yeah. And what do I get that I didn't have before when I combine all these pieces together. To the ability to accelerate your autonomous vehicle pipeline and reduce your costs. And that's by creating these virtual environments that you want to test your vehicle in. Correct, yeah. Building the video data, the corner cases that you need, accelerating the uh, curation and the fine tuning, and then feeding that into your neural networks to accelerate uh, autonomous vehicles. If you had to estimate the before and after at the amount of time it would take to create these virtual environments and actually use them in testing, half the time, yeah. quarter of the time, what would you think? Many, many men, years of time and hundreds of millions of dollars to be able to have cars deployed on the road to collect data, bring it back. You have to curate it, you have to index it, you have to find the right data. That All that's automated now. All automated and sped up. So when do you think that more than half the cars in the world are going to be autonomous? <laughs> Last question. It's coming fast. All right. We're nice to meet you. Dean, thank you so thank much you. and for helping make that, that day come sooner rather than later. Exactly. Thank you.